Well, welcome back to episode 12 of my training log. This week was a pretty okay week of training. We'll just call it that, but let's get right to it. Well, Monday, January 22nd was a rest day from my running, but I did still have a strength workout. Now this was my core activation workout that I usually do on Mondays, so a lighter load. Uh, so overall, it was only just under 30 minutes and really not a difficult workout, but just, you know, good for the rest day. Well, Tuesday, January 23rd called for a one hour easy run. So my wife and I, we went to the Sunset Mesa open space, which is an area kind of near where we live, but she had never been there. So we ran there, rode to trail style, did an easy run uh, on most of the trail, got about 620 feet of elevation gain, just keeping that pace very easy, almost five and a half miles, but it was just a good day, beautiful weather, and the trails were in pretty good condition except for a couple of areas where the snow was melting. And then when I got back from the run, there was a big box waiting on my front porch. So the uh, DYU C3 e-bike showed up on my front door. I knew that I knew it was coming at some point, but I didn't know it was coming that quickly. And so I'm, I've got some ideas of how I'm going to use this as a runner because I'm a runner, I'm not a cyclist. Uh, this isn't a, a bicycle anyway, it's an e-bike, but uh, I've got some ideas. So stay tuned, gotta wait for the weather to cooperate, be a little bit warmer, but uh, we'll see. I'm excited to give it a try. Well, Wednesday, January 24th, had called for uh, a little bit of a speed work day for me. It was a pretty easy speed work day. It was really just strides. I don't generally call that speed work, but uh, I did go with my wife to Rampart Range Road. She had speed work. It was the same workout I had done, I think it was last week, that ladder speed work. And so uh, I paced her essentially because this was uphill. She's not the best uphill runner, which she will admit. And so I was trying to help her out, pace her, and kind of had it programmed in her watch for her. But it was, it was a good workout, good run. Uh, weather was pretty good, you know, nice temperatures. It was really perfect weather for speed work, I guess, honestly, now that I think about it. But overall, the whole thing ended up being just under seven miles, uh, about an hour and 10 minutes. We did get over a thousand feet of elevation gain, which was pretty good. Uh, and overall, you know, it was just a good run. Uh, yeah, it was good. It worked out well for her, kind of gave her some confidence. But then later on that night, once the kids were in bed, I headed to the gym, had a workout, uh, almost an hour and 10 minutes of strength training. And it was a good workout for sure. Uh, definitely just still really enjoying the gym and feeling myself getting stronger for sure. And it's really going to, I think, help my running in the long run. I've got a couple more of those running form drills from my strength coach. Mike Thompson, who is also a running coach, not my running coach. I still train with vert.run. Max Keith is my running coach, who is a phenomenal runner. But uh, Mike Thompson's also a great runner as well, and he does provide that service as well. But here's a couple of running form drills for you from Mike. So this one is ankling. You're trying to get your feet up off the ground quickly. Don't be confused. This is not fast feet, but you're just getting the foot up off the ground in a neutral position. A straight leg drill. Kids also call it the end zone dance. But just like the A skip and the B skip, we're trying to teach that that foot is striking the ground when it's moving this way, not that way. These are great running form drills that I incorporate a lot of these before I'm doing speed work. I'll generally do my warm up about 20 minutes and then go through these running drills. I'll do those and then I'll get into my actual speed work session. And they really just help that foot turnover, help get your form right for running fast. So Thursday, January 25th, calling for another hour easy run. So I went out, had to get a little bit of extra footage for my Rahi 7 uh, review video for the Hoka shoes. So I did uh, get a little bit of footage there, easy run, you know, really very, very easy pace, keeping it chill. But yeah, just a really easy run, all, not even six and a half miles, easy 843 pace, 410 feet of gain. So just uh, keeping it chill. Well, Friday, January 26th had called for a cross training day. And so my plan originally was to get on the treadmill again for some more power hiking with the weighted vest. However, we woke up Friday morning to probably six inches of snow uh, here at my house. And so later on that day, my wife and I actually chose to go to the Manitou incline for a snow climb. We had both, I had done it in the snow a couple of times, but never this deep. And my wife had never done it in any snow really. So it was a good experience for both of us. It was, uh, the temperatures were really fine. I think it was, you know, maybe 30 degrees. It wasn't that cold at all. And it just felt good. You know, my wife actually PR'd her ascent, which was pretty good considering there was a lot of snow on the incline. I mean, there was uh, one clear path where people had gone up and down. But once you stepped out of that, there was easily six, seven, eight inches of snow in places. 
and even on the steep, really steep parts, uh, the snow has kind of uh, took away some of the stairs, and so it was just pretty slippery. So uh, to PR her ascent on that was pretty good. At times going up, my Apple Watch was showing 69% grade incline going up. I actually saw 70% at one point as well, which is just crazy. You really, these videos, anything you see does, just does not do it justice until you come out and actually do the incline. And then my wife actually got to experience her first descent as well, which was a difficult day to do it with the snow, but we put the spikes on and came down. She slipped a couple of times and fell, uh, had a little bit of anxiety because she doesn't like heights and coming down, but she did it and she did it, she got it done. And it was just a good day uh, on a beautiful trail with my wife. And so overall it was 3.6 miles, just about over 2,200 feet of elevation gain. And it was just, like I said, a good day. But that's not it for Friday. So I had to go to the gym as well. So later on that day, I did go to the gym and do a strength workout. Uh, might not have been the best after an incline ascent because my legs were tired. The deadlifts, uh, all the workouts were uh, more difficult for sure. But still got it done, got the workout done, a little over an hour. And yeah, I was feeling it, I was very tired. Well, that brings us to Saturday, January 27th. My long run had called for about two and a half to three hours. And so I was looking for a route that I could hopefully run uh, pretty well with the snow. So I found uh, Mount Hermon Road, just kind of doing some map recon, thought that might've been a good place to go. So I, I decided to try that out. <music> morning. I'm out here on Mount Hermon Road in Monument. It's a forest service road. Looks like dirt and gravel, but it's completely covered in snow and well, maybe not ice, just hard packed snow. Wow, look at that view. Quite a view. Got somebody skiing up ahead. I think they're on skis. Should be a good run. Should be like that today, huh? Six, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six uh, four wheel drive vehicles out today exploring the beautiful road here. But that might make it slower for me, stepping off this uh, road here to the side so they can pass. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling it today too. Yesterday doing the incline in the snow, and then a good workout last night. I'm tired. <laughs> Legs are tired, whole body's tired. But that is okay. Someone asked in the comments on one of my videos if I felt the strength training was hindering my running at all. On the contrary, I think it's helping me learn to run on tired legs and a tired body fatigue. I'm certainly going to have that in my 200 mile race. <laughs> so training the body to move when it is not wanting to is very important. And that's what we're doing. Plus, my gosh, this is so beautiful. Through the trees there is Pikes Peak from this other side, if you can kind of see it. Looks massive. Oh, the snow off of this road is very deep. Oh man, my legs are tired, guys. I'm only <laughs> like four miles in, I think. Maybe five, five miles, I'm five miles in. But man, ah. Uh, Slow going, the spikes don't seem to be helping very much on this. It's not ice, it's just hard packed snow and it's still sliding a bit, so it's taking a lot of effort. <sighs> Man. Oh well, we'll carry on. Although I did see 
the trail I'm supposed to come back on because this is like a big lollipop. And on the back side, somewhere over there, I think I'm gonna come down on like a single track, but I saw where it joins this road and it looked like it had not been traveled. So very deep snow, might not go that way. Might turn around and just come back on this road. I'm up over 9,000 feet now. Definitely cooler up here. More snow off of these car tracks. I'd say about a foot, about a foot deep. Ah, uh, little descent finally. <laughs> I made the decision to turn around. I made it up to the uh, high point of this route, just about 9,300 feet. <sighs> Solid guy, using his uh, winch to self-recover. But yeah, I'm gonna head back down. I'm beat. <laughs> and the rest of this loop, that single track section part, holy cow, that's awesome. Let's walk over here, the single track part would be ridiculous. So, oh, this is deep. <laughs> Trying to get over here to this view, show you guys. Wow. Well, I stepped over here to get a shot of this gorgeous view right here. And uh, I'm in some deep snow. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, up above my knee. Yeah, Let's see if I can backtrack. <sighs> Down the hill we go. Down the mountain we go. Well, as you saw, it was a pretty, pretty good run overall. The snow made it much more difficult, more slow, and my legs were just so tired after the incline and the strength workout. The strength workout, not even 12 hours or barely, barely over 12 hours before this. So it was, uh, I was tired and I felt it for sure. So. Uh, turned around early instead of doing the full lollipop route, but still got almost 2,300 feet of elevation gain, 15.6 miles uh, overall, moving time of two hours and 50 minutes. So it was a good day. It was a beautiful, beautiful weather, but man, my legs were very tired. So today, Sunday, January 28th, called for about an hour and 15 minutes of an easy-ish run. And so I was really looking to do something kind of flat. I had been feeling uh, a little bit of Achilles discomfort over the last several days. So I didn't want to do any incline, any, anything steep. So I uh, chose to go to the uh, Pikes Peak Greenway, ran there, felt great. I wore a different pair of shoes this time. I was wearing the Saucony Kinvara Pros, which is just, I can't tell you guys how much I love those shoes. If you're looking for a road running shoe with a lot of bounce, very responsive, cushion, Cannot recommend the Saucony Kinvara Pros enough. I love those shoes. Take, uh, take a look at the full review if you haven't seen it, top right corner. I love those shoes. But overall, the run was great. Even finished, uh, I took my shirt off for the last little bit because it was, I think, 51 degrees. Felt amazing in that sun. Just felt so good. So a little over eight miles, hour and six minutes, keeping it pretty relaxed. Heart rate stayed pretty low during most of this. You know, probably about 143, 144 in that area but overall a good run. Well, overall for the week, it was a pretty solid week of training. Almost 46 miles, right at eight hours of running, 6,800 feet of elevation gain, so a little bit less than the prior, uh, the prior weeks uh, where I had about 9,000 feet, but overall still a good solid week of running. Plus on top of that, I had the strength training, which was two hours and 37 minutes over those three workouts that I did Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So uh, feeling good, feeling strong. Um, definitely, uh, yeah, just feeling, I was tired this week for sure after the incline and the workout, but I'm feeling better today. Tomorrow is a rest day, so that'll be good to get me ready for the next week of training. Well, I thought I would open it up to some questions as well. So if you have questions specific to my training, uh, training for a 100 mile race, I'm training for a 200 miler as well, so maybe something for that, or nutrition, anything. I mean, shoes, whatever, watches, I don't care. If you have questions, uh, put them down below. I'll try to answer, the, answer those in next week's episode. Well, anyway, I hope you all had a great week of training, got out and saw some pretty sights, did some hard things. Don't forget, you can also still order uh, some Ultra Trail Steven hats if you wanna get one of those. These are the Boco Technical Trucker hats. Love these things for running, they are amazing. 
Uh, really, I've, I've got several of them that I wear, one in the studio, one for running. But I still have a couple of those, several of those left. So if you want to get one in, take a look in the description below. There's a link to go order one of those. Help support the channel and uh, get a pretty awesome hat. So thank you all for watching. I do appreciate you all. I'll see you in the next one.